वेलकम टू दी वीडियो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग जेडी स्मिथ अ वीडियो बाय डॉक्टर कल्याणी वलत कंटेंट इज डेवलप्ड बाय शमीला यू सी एज लिटरेचर एंथुसियास वी शुड नॉट ओनली कीप एन आई ऑन ओल्ड राइटर्स एंड लिटरेरी हिस्ट्री बट वी शुड बी अपडेटेड अबाउट वेरी कंटेम्पररी राइटर्स आल्सो many of you might have heard the name zadi smith in some competitive exam like net some of you might have heard about her and read her books also some of you may not have well all of you should hear about her now that is why i am making this video i'm going to give you some important details about zadi smith in such a way that you'll never forget and you'll go and read her books okay this is very important so introducing zadi smith Ah ha ha ha! This is Zadi Smith. She is looking very sad, but don't worry. The video will cheer her up. She will be smiling very soon. Zadi Smith is a contemporary English novelist, essayist, and short story writer living in Britain. She is half Jamaican. She was born on twenty seventh October nineteen seventy five in Willesden in northwest London. Northwest London is the poor locality of London. and uh, her mother was a jamaican and her father was english her father was 30 years older than his wife also and uh, at the age of 14 zaidi changed the spelling of her name from s to z and her mother who was jamaican grew up in jamaica this is her mother and uh, she emigrated to england in 1969 have you been to jamaica it's a beautiful place like our kerala well smith's parents divorced when she was a teenager and uh, smith had a half sister and a half brother and two younger brothers i will introduce them all to you but first This is Jamaican flag. Ah ha ha ha! Jamaican beach. This is Jamaica. Looks so much like Kerala, including the coconut trees. Wow! Another beach. And some shops. You can see such shops in all our tourist places like Kovalam in Kerala. and jamaica is the home for rastafarianism it's actually a religious movement but it has its uh, impact on poetry also and recently a jamaican writer got booker prize a few years ago do you know his name go and find out i'm not telling you now i'm introducing you to her brother this is one brother this is the other brother do they look alike i think they look almost the same this is dark brown and this is look skies they are both rappers dark brown is also a stand up comedian if you want to see some family time wow the brother is playing with the sister and they have made up same clothes so it must be the same day <laughs> Now, her first major novel was White Teeth, two thousand. Smith became a literary sensation after the publication of her debut novel, White Teeth. That was in the year two thousand. It is set in working class suburbs of Wellesden. That is where she was born. Remember, in northwest London. And White Teeth chronicles the life of best friends Archie Jones. He is an English man whose failed suicide attempt opens the novel. He is down on his luck. And Samad Iqbal, oh, he is an Indian, a Bengali Muslim who struggles to fit into British society. So we have Archie Jones and Samad Iqbal, the protagonists. Spanning some fifty years, the novel also details the trials and tribulations of their families. which prompted some critics to hail smith as modern day charles dickens so she has written about the underprivileged people 
the trials and tribulations of the underprivileged families. The ambitious work won numerous awards, including the Whitbread First Novel Award and was a finalist in National Book Circles Award, National Book Circles Critic Award and Orange Prize for Fiction. Good for a debut novel, but the next novel was kind of criticized. Now, let me show you some pictures of white teeth. Uh-oh, this is not what you expected. Come on, this is the wrong picture. No, 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 let's move on. This, These are white teeth, of course, but this is not what we want to see, eh? Move on. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look at the cover pages. The writing looks like white teeth, right? The writing is arranged like white teeth. <laughs> right. Now, this is the uh, TV show, White Teeth. Hey, you can see an Indian face there. Who is that? There is the man. Om Puri is Samad Iqbal in the TV show. Wow. And this is a musical. White Teeth was also turned into a musical. Now, the next novel is Autograph Man. Who is this pretty woman? Let's see. It is the second novel by Zadie Smith. It depicts the progress of a Jewish Chinese Londoner named Alex Lee Tandem. Oh, he is obsessed with celebrities. And he buys and sells autographs for a living. You can apply celebrity culture theory here. He buys and sells autographs for a living. However, his obsession made him meet the star from Hollywood's golden age, Kitty Alexander. This is Kitty Alexander or Catherine Alexander. The novel won the Jewish Quarterly Vintage Literary Prize in 2004. Is it the spelling? I'm not sure. The novel was a commercial success but not well received by readers and critics as Smith's previous and first novel, White Teeth, was. White Teeth was a hit, but The Autograph Man was not so much popular. The next novel is a very famous novel from 2005. Can you guess it? Many of you might have heard at least the name. Some of you might have read it. It is On Beauty. 2005, based on E.M. Foster's Howard's End. It takes the title from an essay by Elaine Scarry on beauty and being just. Set in America in a fictional town outside of Boston, it centers on the story of two families and their different lives. Two families here. Reflects the lives of mixed race British American family living in the United States. A British American family Mixed race family living in the United States. Issues of class, behavior, ambition and opportunity in a society with prescribed rules. That is the theme. And also the novel addresses ethnic and cultural differences in both USA and the UK. In both the USA and the UK. We can see the depiction of cla culture clash and black heritage in the novel. The next novel is, this is set in London, uh, partly, and London is like a character here. So much it is in the next novel, NW. NW stands for Northwest. It is a story of four people. They are from the same locality, friends, uh, two men and two women. It is an experimental tragic comedy. The style of writing is innovative and encapsulating. It is uh, very unique kind of style it has an inc it has had incredibly positive reviews the novel because it evokes endless emotions that make us human what it means to be human that kind of story it takes its title there should not be a i am not uh, i didn't proofread properly it there shouldn't be a uh, you know apostrophe here it takes its title from the nw postcode area in northwest london which is the setting of the novel the novel portrays four locals, Lee, uh, Nathalie, Felix, Felix and Nathan, as they try to make adult lives outside of Caldwell, the council estate of their childhood. All of them in their adulthood, that is the story. London is almost a character as in On Beauty. 
Next is Swing Time. The story takes place in London, New York and Africa, West Africa. Portrays two brown girls who dream of being dancers. But only one, Tracy, has talent. The other has ideas. It's a close but complicated childhood friendship that ends abruptly. Childhood friendship between two girls. Tracy makes it to the chorus line but struggles with adult life. Tracy is the talented dancer but she struggles while her friend leaves the old neighborhood traveling the world as assistant to a famous singer. She is more successful even though she is not talented. The friend is Amy. Amy develops grand philanthropic ambitions and the story moves from London to West Africa. Swing Time 2016 Then Feel Free is a book of essays published in 2018. It is not a novel, it's a book of essays. Look at Zadie Smith sitting in a garden of tulips looking at her latest novel. What to do with this novel? <laughs> Feel Free was the winner of the 2018 National Book Critics Circle Award for Criticism and a New York Times notable book. Feel Free offers a survey of important recent events in culture and politics as well as Smith's own life. It talks about so many things about the world of good books and bad politics, about rappers, about novelists. And the style is wry, heartfelt, indignant, incisive, brilliant style. So while Zadie Smith is sitting there looking at uh, her latest book, wondering what to write next, what do you do? There you are. You're going and you're going to read Zadie Smith on your own. Read one of these novels and post in the comments of the video how you liked it. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.